Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. <clears throat> we are in Duskboro, which is just to the west of the Shrine of the Archimagus. And here, there are several side quests open to us. Three to be exact, we'll check all those out, but first, a few things of interest. This lady here has the Viper Dagger. 332 physical attack, 132 speed, and occasionally poison the target. That's really strong. So I bought it. <clears throat> I had a 3% chance to steal. So I just went ahead and bought it. It was 60... 60, 65k, somewhere around there. And I unfortunately didn't get a discount. But we have quite a bit of cash. So we still have 280 and I bought a bunch of stuff. So there's that. <clears throat> By the curious <laughs> uh, There was that. <clears throat> There's this old coin, a curious antique. This guy is worthy of you note. See. It used to belong to a company of mercenaries run by a right fool. To him, it was all brotherhood and being in it together and all that kind of rot. So yeah, me and my mates decided to bring him down. Bring him down, we did. This is one of those crest-bearing people for that one side quest with uh, the mercenary in the rich town. He's here. That's one of them. I believe there were three. This lady has a sturdy sapphire rod, which has um, 89 physical attack, 176 elemental attack, and 62 evasion. Also a refreshing game. I didn't try to get it because the shop has betters um, even before you get the the upgrade from one of the people in town. Forget which one. My apologies. 98 physical, 216 elemental, and 77 evasion. I bought one for Ophelia. Um, by getting the upgrade, more plentiful precision, provisions. Ugh. Four shield, 102, 102, minus 69. More physical attack than we sh than the animantine shield we're using. But less elemental defense. So more physical defense, less elemental defense. I like more elemental defense. I feel like more enemies use elemental stuff. Um, but the four shield is balanced, which is nice. There's also Enchanted Circlet, which has pretty good stats, um, and some SP. I could give one to Tressa, give one to somebody else in the group. Um, I'm going to put Primrose back in, she's who I'm going to use. Uh, this Primeval Robe isn't bad either. You probably have better, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. So if you're coming here kind of... Kind of first, didn't do much in chapter three. There you go. <clears throat> uh, we have the town elder following us, by the way. I already talked to him and stuff. Uh, he has inhibit defense, so I, we're guiding him right now. He has a few things on him as well for Tressor Ethereum. Viper Dagger, because all that speed will be great. Um, is that the Staff of Wonders? Your Sapphire Rod, that's an upgrade. And Primeval Robe is what Primrose is wearing, but you can buy it here. I guess we don't necessarily need those, those charms. I don't feel like they did all that much anyway. Great unconsciousness. Oh, prevent instant death still scares me. I'm gonna give her 200 HP. So she has over 2k. Alright, um. I believe that's in town. There's a locked treasure chest in town that has 30,000 leaves. Thankfully, that one's pretty easy to get. You're in town. <laughs> 
just switch theory on grab it. I believe that's it. Oh, right. This item shop. Very important. It has healing great bunches. So I bought a bunch of those. I wonder kind of where money went. Because being able to heal the whole party, even if it's for like 900, is awesome. Heal the whole party with one item. Also, they had inspiriting plum mediums. Bought a couple of handfuls of those. Uh, this place also has, if you're using Alfin, which Alfin's good, this place has purifying seeds and purifying dust and ruinous seeds for if you're going to attack. By a few of those, I might throw Alfin back in the party at some point. Because these villages are useful, but here you go. They're expensive, leaf-wise, but you should have... Quite a few leaves by now. Um, worth picking up. And that'll do for your trip around town. Let's start Cyrus's chapter four. Still in pursuit of the Forbidden Tomb, your journey to Duskborough, and you journey to Duskborough, and ever closer to the truth. And so Cyrus's search for the ancient tomb led him to Stone Guard, where Headmaster Yavon lie in wait. Using the forbidden blood magic gleaned from those pages, he aspired to powers unholy and profane. But Yvonne, more demon than man at the end, met his demise. It was lay in wait, not lie in wait, sorry. Preposterous! I am all powerful! I am eternal! Immortal! They were all. Lies! Such were his last words. But who lied to him? And what was their ultimate aim? Was Cyrus fully prepared to face the truth that awaited him? A foreboding shadow fell over him as he came to Dustmore. Time to do some research. And here we are. Somewhere in this town lies the Headmaster's ultimate destination. Given the nature of his research, it is reasonable to assume that there is a secret laboratory of some sort. I'll get to the bottom of this, no matter what. Master's assistant. Lucia, was it? Now that I recall, she disappeared after that incident at the headmaster's house. What's her role in all of this? I must not let her out of my sight. Oh man, I never did the side quest. It's like we can this. take a look at these. Some run down, some downless like mercenary is taken to raiding the nearby ruins. Badgers me with worthless trinkets he finds there, claiming they're valuable artifacts. When trying to shoo him off, he turns most belligerent. Do wish someone would do something about him. Really it's great. like this. Am I not? It's like this. No. <laughs> Hidden item. There's that. Whoops. Sorry. You know, I forgot something. Oh. Sun has brought a tiger cub back from the woods. Well, it's sweet and adorable now, but what about when it grows up? Tigers are meat eaters, aren't they? Ferocious too, I'm led to believe. What to do, I ask myself. A cub with no meat. <laughs> As yet unnamed, such matters are deserving a deep consideration, for their moniker may come to define them in the eyes of others. Oh. 
I'm not sure what to do there. Hello there. Well admit, remember me? You gifted me the sword Snakesbane. My father came to this place, that much I know. People here tell me an ancient ruin stand outside of town. I have little hope of reaching them alone, but with your help. Ashlyn the Beastmaster 3. Well, we can definitely do that after the main quest. That'll be fun. We'll guide him and set forth to the uh, ruins. <gasps> but she was just here. Wherever could she have gone? Hmm? What's this now? A button of sorts. Should I press it? Yes. Button. I see. Nothing happened. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. Darn. Why couldn't it be? Perhaps I should pull it instead. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, must be losing my wits. How does one even go about pulling a button? <laughs> I don't know, you can... You can like unlock it. What's pull it back up like here? a button gets stuck. Anyway. Pry it back up. Anyway. No, maybe not. In that case, I should... Smash it, twist it, if you want. Twist but. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, this is a turn. <laughs> Good job, Cyrus. Yes! <laughs> Get because we twist it. Anyway, I should proceed with caution. Thank you so much. I got a huge grin on my face right now. Explore the ruins of Eld in the village. The ruins of Eld. Let us explore. Oh, it looks like this is another place that has multiple, multiple routes. I'm ready to return here. All right. My research on ice, huh? The battle is truly joy. Well, that is definitely something I can do. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, break the <laughs> vampire bat. So, clearing the way for Cyrus. I am ready. How much for this one? Guardian Mark Two. I don't know what your week two. Let us. The peacock struck. I'm not gonna boost this turn. Glacius Caldera. Nice damage to all foes three times. Glacius Caldera. That's pretty bad. You Surrender. should have studied harder. I am going to have to... Listen that back and see what he says when he casts his spells. Oh, so curious. Alright, heal up because that enemy's lame and uses self destruct. A cheap maneuver! <laughs> Refreshing jams? And that's it, and that's all. Let's head this way. Wait. 20,000 leaves. Kind of trying to hide in the sunlight there. They are Next set. Uh, also weak to swords. Oh, what do we want to cast? What element are you? Wind? I don't know what to use. Wait. I am ready. Does he just say like uh, Tontus Canaire? Does he just say the uh, the name? 
I mean, that's cool. Somebody had some quotes like he does for his spells. Summon the talent person. How about you? Finally used it. You're gonna self destruct too? You're gonna be lame? Finn, that's good. So, this is where all these inspiriting plums come into play with Cyrus. That's why I just kept all of them. Alright. These wall walls seem quite old. <clears throat> Yet they still stand strong. What are these curious patterns? Look how perfectly they're aligned. Whatever could they be for? Aha! Wait, that's it! Together the markings illustrate something. Here they billow and swell. Uh, an ocean? A flood? It seems to be depicting something overflowing. And yet the depiction is abstract and surreal. Wait, I've seen these mark I've seen markings like these somewhere. <gasps> of course! The runes of High Hunborgian! These runes are being used to paint a picture! there not be a hidden message contained within? It is as if the runes are flowing forth from some kind of gate. Hmm. Oh. Though I hate to admit it, I fear deciphering this will take more time than I have. I should move on. Oh, I thought it'd be open. Those paintings scare me. I don't think I've seen anything quite so... spooky. My mother used to like art. She filled the house with paintings and pictures. Oh? What kind of pictures? There was one I remember vividly. It showed a girl standing in a sea of grass. I'd stare at it so long, I thought I could see the grass moving in the wind. I'd never forget it. Hmm. Most interesting. Yearning. Passion. Soul. Hate. One's very essence. In every artwork, we can feel the soul of the person who painted it. So what kind of soul is in those paintings? Nothing too awful, I hope. But I confess that I'm looking forward to cracking the puzzle. Glad someone can get enjoyment out of them, because I certainly can't. <laughs> the inquisitive mind of the professor. Hmm. Did 
did you learn anything about those wall paintings? A little, yes. For example, they clearly date from ancient times. I believe that they have religious significance of some kind. But I saw nothing in them of the teachings of the sacred flame. The beliefs in the age of legends were quite different from today. It was a time before the religious... Excuse me. You mean, even before the sacred flame teachings began? Precisely so. An age almost entirely unknown to us. A time when gods and mortals walked together upon the soil. I am blessed indeed to have been given the chance to visit these ruins. They are a scholar's paradise. I'm glad too. It almost feels as I can hear the thoughts of the people who lived long ago. The very breath of the ancients borne on the wind over these many long centuries. Whispering of great and epic tales. Uh, Over doesn't have anything to say about that. Anything over here, real quick. That's the way to go. Quick look for treasure. I am ready. Wind to sit. So cool. Ruins of Eld. Oh. We're not where we're supposed to go. All right, hold on. Quick look. And we might just find a treasure chest. Here we do. A void amulet. If I had to guess, a greater. No. Greater. Uh, greatly reduces damage taken from dark. this episode here thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed hope you had a lot of fun next time we'll walk forward and see how cyrus's tale ends until then i'm sundry nine remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone